Next Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It's now 6.53, time to get you ready to, for your weekend with the Morning Sprint. Olivia Roberts has breaking news about the state of the economy this morning, and Destiny Richards is live at Hello Sugar for National Donut Day. But first to Mark Peterson with a warm Friday forecast. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it is cooler than yesterday, but we saw thunderstorm activity firing up into the Palouse, pushing into Montana. That's the only regional rain we've seen so far. As we look at the four things you need to know today, uh, still swimming pool would be nice. It's not going to be quite so hot, but still 10 degrees, 12 degrees above average. Southwest winds are going to continue to gust today. It's going to be a cooler weekend, but still no rain in the forecast. That looks like the next 10 days for us. Breaking news from Facebook this morning, the social media platform changing its rules for world leaders and politicians. Today, Facebook is announcing the end of a policy that exempted politicians from having their posts moderated. The policy was based on the company's belief that political speech was in the public's best interest, even if it was offensive, bullying, or otherwise controversial. But now, Facebook is expected to use a strike system for politicians who repeatedly break the rules like using hate speech or inciting violence. New this morning, a Spokane Valley couple was injured yesterday on I-90 when their motorcycle hit the median near Post Falls. According to Idaho State Police, 70-year-old Dale Hattenberg failed to respond in time to slowed traffic due to construction. He drove into the median to avoid a crash with another vehicle, and he and his passenger, 65-year-old Marilyn Hattenberg, were both both ejected. Both driver and passenger were wearing helmets and were transported to Kootenai Health with injuries. Well, breaking news from the Labor Department this morning. Its May jobs report shows the U.S. economy added back more than half a million jobs last month. 559,000 jobs to be exact. That's significantly lower than experts predicted, but the unemployment rate still fell to 5.8 percent. The labor market is in a unique spot right now. Millions of Americans are without jobs, but at the same time, businesses are facing massive worker shortages. Some critics blame expanded federal jobless benefits created to help people through the pandemic. Today, President Biden expected to use the May jobs report to pitch his infrastructure plan as he continues negotiating a bipartisan deal with Senate Republicans. The president shaving $1.3 trillion off his original $2.3 trillion package and dropping his original proposal to pay for the plan by raising corporate taxes. President Biden's plan includes money for roads, bridges, water facilities, and non-traditional infrastructure like the caregiving economy. The White House says it will create millions of jobs and rebound the economy. Idaho and Washington are numbers one and two when it comes to how fast rents are rising. Boise's rent has risen faster than any other city in the nation. Rental rates jumped more than 12% from last year to this year. And just last month, the rent in Washington jumped more than 6%. Right now, the median rent for a two-bedroom apartment in Spokane is just more than $1,200, which is also above the national average. The COVID-19 vaccine could help you win a million bucks in Washington. The state announced a new round of incentives for vaccinated residents, including the chance to win a million bucks. All you have to do is get the vaccine and you'll automatically be entered to win several different prizes. You can see the full list of incentives in this story on KXOY.com. Eastern Washington University is reversing its decision to make vaccination a choice and will instead require its students and staff to get a COVID shot before returning to campus this fall. The university says it's re-evaluated its decision after new guidelines from the American College Health Association. Eastern will hold a vaccine clinic June 9th as a way to get students a chance to get vaccinated before leaving for the summer. And we want to help you and your family navigate each phase of the pandemic. If you have questions about updated safety guidance or want advice from the experts, head to KXY.com. Look for the Q&A section. We will do our best to get your questions answered. Hello Sugar at all three of their locations are celebrating National Donut Day as well as their third birthday this week. That means Wednesday through Sunday you can get some donuts from their birthday menu. Just go to our website kxy.com for a link to see all the flavors that they have as well as a Facebook post where you can enter a special giveaway for 30 dozen donuts. Coming up next on Good Morning America, summer camp safety. The CDC's new camp guidelines lay out multiple strategies to stop the spread of COVID, including regular temperature checks. GMA takes a look at their effectiveness. We'll be back with a final check of weather coming up after this.